Hello, Facebook. I'm meteorologist John Carroll. Just giving you an update on what's going on with our weather today. There are different waves that are affecting us, and uh, some are in a good way, some are obviously in a bad way. So we'll give you a little history lesson of what occurred by uh, our downtown Roanoke camera with time lapse. And I'll show you what we can expect this afternoon. Here's what we got at 7 o'clock in the morning. It was very rainy today. A lot of areas got one inch of rain right about there, one, one and a quarter. Now, at 11.45, I stopped this here for you in our time lapse. 11.45, the skies cleared out. Mostly sunny skies, so a lot of us are going, okay, not bad. Looks like a pretty decent day once that rain got out of here. Not necessarily, because what we can expect in the afternoon is an opportunity for this sun to kind of bake the ground, and then that will start to churn things up and, and get us heating again in the afternoon. Uh, and there is another wave of cloud cover, as you see, by uh, just before the 1 o'clock time frame uh, moving through the area. This is our Roanoke Live Cam at 105, and what you are noticing is an opportunity uh, for us to see uh, the chance for uh, some cloud cover to reinvigorate itself. Now, here's what's going on officially. Area of low pressure located in the Ohio River Valley. And again, the churn around that is uh, counterclockwise, and we have different bands of rain shower activity. This long, uh, intense line of storms is along the coastal plain, and there's another little wave that's moving on through central Virginia around 95. Uh, and then this is the area I am a little bit concerned about for the afternoon hour. So I zoomed in here to show you what's going on. Uh, and you can see this line doesn't look all that impressive, but it's just about ready to move into that warm, dry sector. You see there's no clouds here. So that is is kind of a problem uh, when you're thinking about storm development uh, as these storms will reinvigorate as they move into this dry, not necessarily dry, but actually fairly moist, but a very warm sector as we have had some sunshine coming out. In fact, you already uh, are looking at some storms really starting to get a little fired up uh, and organized in a line through Franklin and in through uh, Patrick, or yeah, Patrick County down uh, in through the eastern sections of Carroll County. And again, when we pull this back out, we are looking at the severe threat issued by uh, the Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma. And, and again, we are in the marginal range here in the green, uh, but in the Piedmont region, we're talking anywhere from Halifax, Campbell, uh, in Amherst, Appomattox, and Charlotte counties. That is in the slight risk for some severe storms. Now, what we can expect from these severe storms is large hail and gusty winds, but there also may be an opportunity uh, for us to see possibly an isolated tornado. I'm not saying that's actually going to happen, but the possibility or the pieces of the puzzle are there. And here's what we got a problem with. This warm sector uh, is marching up and across. Now this cooler air is coming down from the north and west. So again, you see this frontal boundary very poorly defined uh, will be uh, problematic. Here is our future cast. So at three o'clock, uh, anywhere from Lexington back down in through Danville, it, it does look pretty bad uh, on this model. This is a rapid refresh model, and so it, it kind of gets a little bit aggressive with some of the storms, uh, and you can see that they march their way across throughout the afternoon. So it is not done yet as far as stormy weather is concerned. In fact, here's a little bit more benign future cast, but still uh, figuring a line in through portions of Bedford County, down through Franklin, and in through Pat Patrick headed toward the Speedway. I know there are a lot of folks uh, there today, and, and you can see this is an aggressive line at around 3 o'clock uh, of showers and storms that have moved into that warm sector, and then they'll finally get on out of here as we move through time. So again, this is something that we will be concerned about this afternoon. We're going to keep you up to date on VirginiaFirst.com, so uh, be advised there is going to be a lot of activity to talk about today, so we will. Uh, keep you informed online uh, and on the air if we need to break in and talk about some severe weather that may be occurring uh, in the 2 p.m. to, say, 6 p.m. time frame.